Hey, this is a quick how-to video on how to understand uh, the very Synology uh, IDs that are set up. So here's the main screen of the uh, Synology uh, DSM login. First thing you'll notice up here at the top, um, to access it locally on the LAN, you just type the IP address of the box, 192.168.something.something. .something. I've blotted some information out here. Um, and that's how you're going to access it um, you know, typically. So I basically, what you see here too, is I bookmarked um, that IP address. Uh, I actually also have the web account login. And then I have the Quick Connect ID uh, bookmarked as well. And I'll talk about that here in a moment. Uh, the other, so, so w when you set up Synology, you have a couple of different IDs that you have to look at. Uh, so the first is Quick Connect. But then you also have these user IDs. Um, so Quick Connect, in, in a nutshell, what that is, that's the alternative to using uh, uh, DDNS services or uh, uh, port forwarding and that, that kind of stuff. Just makes remote access really easy through Synology. All you need is this web address from any web browser, and you can access your NAS. Now, accessing it and logging into it are two different things. Um, so the, the ID the, or the quick connect ID is just going to give you, uh, the address to access Synology remotely. Um, and then the user accounts are going to, you know, control individual logins, uh, from that point. Uh, so here you see, and for some reason, PhotoStation has its own, uh, web address. I'm not sure why that is, but primarily you're just going to need to be concerned with this quick connect ID. And again, that. That's part of the setup and the registration process. So now I've jumped over to the user accounts. So here are the user accounts set up on my NAS. And once you access the NAS through uh, either the IP address on the LAN or through the Quick Connect ID and or web address on the LAN or remotely, um, then you're going to need to log in with your account. So when you first set up the NAS, you have this uh, admin account that I assume has permissions to everything. Um, and that's where your email address and Quick Connect ID is also sent. So that's kind of your primary account for Synology, but it's not your Quick Connect ID. It's, a, it, it's really just a regular user lo you know, login account with, with uh, you know, admin privileges. So what you're going to want to do, you can see this admin and guest. These are set up by default um, right out of the box. But I set up, you know, the John and Jane. You're going to want to set up uh, an actual user account for each individual um, who ha needs to have access either through your local Wi-Fi LAN at home or remote access to um, the NAS. Uh, so here you see John and Jane, and they're going to have their own separate passwords. Uh, not the same as your overarching admin slash quick connect web logon ID, right? Because you don't want to give everyone, you know, that password. You want to give them, you know, their, their own account. Um, so the way that's going to look uh, when you log in, well, when you log into the app through the web browser, it's going to be pretty straightforward. Here's actually, though, a, a shot of DS, the DS Photo app um, from Android. And all of these Synology apps pretty much look the same. Um, from a law or the three I've used so far look exactly the same from a login perspective. So here's how you're gonna set it up. If you have uh, maybe just like local, like an iPad or something that's only at home, uh, you just type in the IP address. You don't you don't need the Quick Connect ID. Although you could use the Quick Connect ID um, to to access the 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 NAS. So again, this is what's gonna say for the app. Hey, what NAS am I trying to access? Um, so don't get this confused with user IDs or anything like that. Then the next field, this is where you're going to want to type in the name, the user ID uh, login for that specific person. And here you can see I've, I've listed it as um, uh, John. Um, and then you type in that person's password. Again, not the, not the overarching administrator quick connect ID password, but that person's password. Um, I don't have HTTPS checked here. I'm not, not sure why. Um, might have just unchecked that uh, before I logged in. Um, and then you just log in, right? And then that, lo that login, that person is going to have whatever permissions you give to John 
um, through the Synology DSM control panel. Um, th they will not have the admin privileges, which going back here, which which is you know this ID um, that I set up. You, know, you set up you know step one uh, when you initially configured DSM. So it was confusing for me. Um, I hope this helps everyone to kind of understand it. You know, I one of the things that was confusing for me is I had I, I was setting different passwords. And I was uh, I was trying to log into the apps, and I wasn't sure is it supposed to be the Quick Connect ID password, and then I typed the username, but I still need the Quick Connect ID password because I need that to log into the NAS, or you know, no, you know, so so you need the user ID password. So needless to say, you probably want to set you know, pretty strong passwords, and uh, frankly, you probably want to rotate them uh, periodically as well. Uh, I'm not sure if uh, Synology has that option uh, to force that. Uh, security but uh that's something i still have to check out so again ho like all videos hope this is helpful apologies for the poor quality i'm no video editing pro here but um again hope it helps